has GA1. She is unable to break down protein and um, by feeding her protein, the acid had built up in her body and at the point of illness, it had attacked her brain. So we spent a month at Great Ormond Street, like I said, getting to know her feeding, her medications. And then I came home and I was very focused on just caring for Evie and a disabled child. When I was prior to leaving Great Ormond Street, they do tell you of some charities that will be able to help people that, that you can become involved with, that may help. Um, and in those conversations, they talked about Keech, but I didn't want to involve myself with Keech because it was a hospice. I was scared of the hospice, I suppose. I didn't, I thought, well, that's where children just, and elderly go to die. I didn't want to engage in it really. So I sort of put it to the back of my mind. My health visitor talked about how lovely Keech was um, and that maybe a visit. So I went to visit with my mum and I felt very comfortable there immediately. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, so uh, I got a list of what the groups were there and started going to Tots and Toys on a Thursday, um, meeting other parents whose children are similar to Evie. I just feel normal at Keech. I feel I fit in there, whereas other places I don't. Because um, I have issues about people staring at me and staring at Evie and oh you, oh, oh, you poor thing, or oh, the stares at Evie, or is she well enough to be out? Like, whereas at Keith, I don't have that. I feel um, we're just accepted there and it's com I feel comfortable there. Um, I don't have anxiety like I have at other places that I go to. I don't feel that anxiety. So whilst I'm unable to go out, Keech come to me. So um, I have Mary as a community Hi, worker and she comes out to see me. We talk through things. Also, uh, Jenny will come out as well and do some activities with Evie because as well as, she, Evie's still needing stimulation. So this is what's quite difficult with Evie that I'm exhausted from being awake with her all night and then don't have the energy then to provide her with play and stimulation so Jenny comes and does that with Evie painting sensory toys um, different ways of helping Evie to express herself because Evie does scream that's her only way of communicating so she screams for long periods of time Keech provides me with respite, which is the only place that, that does, because um, Evie's still very young as well, but that doesn't mean I don't need that time away from Evie, and she needs that time away from me. Um, I think with, with Evie, I can explain that she, I feel I'm constantly physically touching Evie, so I've lost my own body as such, so she's constantly on me and I can, it, it, I can compare it to when I breastfed her. So you do that only as a short time for a mother, whereas I feel now Evie's constantly with me. When, and when she's at Keech, I feel I get that, my own body back. So there's not that physical touching um, all of the time <laughs> because they will just take Evie from me and Jenny will do an activity with her. And I'll leave there with something that Evie's made or, or painted or it's, yeah, so that's nice to get to leave with stuff as well. I didn't want to engage in sensory toys. I pretty much, when I first came out of hospital with Evie, still had all her old toys. So she would build a farm set. She could play with a doll's house. She was riding on a horse, on a trike. So all of Evie's toys were not suitable anymore. And if I did show her stuff, she'd become dystonic because she'd want to grasp or hold something or build, and I think she, that ability had gone. So it was fate, it, Key just helped me to engage in some sensory stuff that I didn't want to engage in. I wanted Evie still to be normal. I wanted her still to do the stuff she did before. And Key just helped me to learn that Evie will get great pleasure out of the simplest of of movements now so just a touch to make a sound so it's um, instruments um, 
Evie will still be able to paint, but just in a different way, not physically holding a brush and doing me a masterpiece. It'll be a different type of painting. She'll still paint, but it'll just be in a different way. And that is just teaching me ways of how I can engage Evie in activities and helping me to understand that. Because I didn't want to. <laughs>